What's going on YouTube? Julian here. Today I'm gonna be exploring once again the OST of the game Ark Knight. I have already done like five videos, so this is getting really interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but let me tell you that I'm so thankful for your comments, giving inside context, or actually suggesting themes. Actually, the selection of songs we have today are brought to you by, well, by yourselves in the comment section. No further delay, let's get into this. First one today, Dormant Craven. Show me. Show me what this is about, actually. Okay. Oh, beautiful melismas there. So pop esque. Guys, I'm in shock. It's a pretty simple song, yeah? I was gonna say that it is not actually quite my type of music, except it is. It actually is. And I love how in this theme, there is no rush at all. The shielding, the quietness. It's like we are in a pretty peaceful or lonely futuristic city at night it is just beautiful and the effects and lower um, frequencies instruments like bass synths are so 1980s sounding i love that It's crazy how that instrument or effect, no, not effect, let's call it sound, but it's crazy how it has this effect called tremolo that makes the notes vibrate constantly. Why is it so appealing though? Bro, you know that you want to listen again to it all also. Bro. The singing is so reminis reminiscent of... I don't remember the name of the singer, but he's the one that sings... No? No? No idea? Okay, maybe you don't have idea, but yeah. Maybe I'll include a clip or something about that. Or no, maybe not, because of copyright. It's like it is so vintage, but at the same time, kind of futuristic. Beautiful synth bass, man. Listen to the tightness of the drums. Simple, basic, but the mixing is God tier. And I want to add that the use of the keyboards is very beautiful. Lots of space, one chord for hours. Pam. 
bam, bam. And the only variation there is is actually uh, some sort of syncopation, a very simple syncopation, but it works really well. This minimalistic kind of music gives, again, lots of space, makes the atmosphere feel huge. And this character may be my new favorite waifu, though. She is a she, right? She's a girl, right? Beautiful unison there. That's the rhythm, the rhythmic foundation for everything to build upon. Yeah, over that bass, they add the textures, little post production ornaments. Beautiful simple keyboard there, keyboard melody. Okay, and it blends very well with the voice. On the other side, right? It's incredible, bro. <laughs> this fucking game, the comments were true. It's actually, this is, the, this is not a game company even. This is a music company. Fuck the game, fuck the game. Just listen to the music, man. <laughs> Actually, no, don't fuck the game because it seems that this community, uh, this gamer music enjoyers community is very sensible. I did some comment in a Genshin Impact video last week and people went nuts because of a joke. No, I haven't played any of these games, so <laughs> don't feel attacked by any means. Next one, Stainless Heart. I have heard that last um, harmony change in another song from Art Knights. With the machine. I was thinking about something like that, okay? Bro, this is laps. Hard! Okay. I want to say that this freaking song makes me picture a very desolated post-apocalyptic landscape. And now that they are talking about machines, well, it makes sense. We also have a very interesting, furry, futuristic renegade character. So it makes even more sense with each passing second. Everything since the amounts of space, lots of reverb. 
and little delay effects applied to those keyboards even the drums and the guitars the guitars especially in the verse sounded quite futuristic the guitars had a very interesting delay i loved that texture man it is incredible how this type of music can make you picture an image so clearly and that that is genius that is top tier composition hey second verse now we have distortion as in the chorus even though first verse was a uh, clean guitar bring it bring it I love the vocals also. Because it, they are from a very teenager esque rock style, but uh, they have balls, they have guts. There is a little growl there sometimes. And beautiful melody with two guitars, two electric and or distorted guitars doing thirds, harmonizing each other by the interval of thirds. Beautiful, classic resource. Oh, okay, okay, this section is going to be insane. I can already see that. But I wanted to say that in the last section, the drummer was doing something completely different, playing with the toms, the floor tom and the, and the other toms, which gave a completely different aesthetic to, to the drums, the drums line. And now, insanity. The guitar riff is futuristic madness personified. It's similar to a classical violin uh, etude. Etude. However, the fuck you say that. See the delay in the guitar and the reverb that works so well to make us feel in a very empty and spacious world. Holy, not too shabby. Holy, bro, this music. This freaking music is so freaking good. When does these uh, themes play? That's my only question. Because if I'm not mistaken, Ark Knights is a tower defense game. So you will be playing with more than one, two, three characters all the time. Or constantly at least. Because these are pretty long themes for just uh, one turn or deciding the action of one character. So that really confuses me. Maybe they have storylines for each one of them. I don't know. It would be crazy, but that's probably the case. And last one of today, if you got this far on the video, let me know what is your favorite. Uh, feel free to give me more suggestions. Here we are. All hail savior. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Oh, holy! <laughs> Do you remember back then? The days of oh, the singer is sick. The days of the so melodic and aggressive. Those days are far behind us. All we know now is pain. But I'll defend the 
Bro. I think I speak for everyone when I say I need more volume right now. Let's fucking go. Okay. Okay. You can tell that the OST is good when my eyes get a little bit teary because of emotion. Well, maybe you cannot see that, but it's official to say that I have a new waifu now. Holy shit, bro. I freaking love this song. It's totally up my alley. I love the guitar riffs, the drums, energy. Everything in this song is just so dynamic and epic. The guitar lines, the riffs from the verse, introduction, and, and chorus were sick, so dynamic. Multiple melodies played as little feels at the end of the phrases. Even again, we had harmonized guitars with thirds, but this singer is a complete beast. She sings very melodically, especially in the chorus, but she's also able to, to evoke some kind of growth in her voice. The grit, the passion in her voice is... Da, 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 da. Ah, the cuts. The guitar mixing is just so good. They play so much with the subdivisions, I love that. But give me the full metal feeling, bro. Oh, that feel was insane, the drum feel. It's crazy because that harmonized melody, we had it a little bit before when the guitar stopped doing low-pitched riffs and began doing melodies. That is uh, beautiful, you know, that I love a heavy metal. That was one of my very first loves. So that resource, this whole song is a hymn honoring heavy metal, man. Heavy thrash metal, honor power, though, let's say more heavy yeah because the harmonizing stuff in the guitars started obviously because of heavy metal and the new wave of british heavy metal and stuff but the energy do a guitar solo or not I think yeah, yeah. Okay, it's like the two guitars that are very usual to have in a format of a heavy metal band were taking turns with some of the phrases of the solo and at the end they were playing at the same time again harmonizing. That just sounds so beautiful, bro. Oh, this is so warlike. Bro, you won't believe me, but that drift is so similar to the ones I did when I was a teenager. Ah, bro, I love it. 
I love that this is the video with the most views of today's well the song with the most views of today's video because I'm so fucking happy to see how metal is doing well even if it is in the gacha games um, niche because as a teenager it was my dream to play uh, metal and be a professional metal player but when I studied music I realized that I had to have a very open uh, perspective and be very open with all kinds of music that actually I'm grateful because I would have missed out on so many types of music but uh, I had to do that because metal is not affordable as a way of living only if you are one of the legendary bands but seeing this and that this is the most popular theme in today's video makes me very happy bro it is possible it is fucking possible keep believing guys always thanks so much for watching and have a fucking blast of a day peace